Peace be with you. Welcome back to my channel for another video, another spiritual download. If this is the first time that you are coming across my channel, I say hey, hi, and hello. Nine times out of ten, I'm going to be honest with you. If you've been praying about something, it's not by coincidence. You just happen to find my channel and or this video. Everything is timeless. Why? Because we know that when spirit is really guiding us on our path and we're lined up with our higher self, that everything is in divine order and or orchestrated to happen at a certain time for us. So you can never be late to your destiny, even if you had a few setbacks, seemingly setbacks. Listen, that was a very emotional intro on this pre-commercial break before all of the other commercial breaks. That will happen in this reading. I just need to prepare you, newcomer. Listen, we do have commercial breaks. I'm not talking about the ones that Google sponsors. These are my own impromptu commercial breaks. Okay, listen. And if you're returning back to the channel, I love you. I love you. I missed you. I love you. I miss you. It's only been two videos ago that I've seen you. Listen, I love you. <laughs> I really, really do. And I thank you for all of your love and support. Shout out to the person that sent me a donation for me to buy myself a spicy tuna roll. That was the funniest thing ever. Not only did I enjoy that tuna roll, I laughed so hard because I just thought that was the cutest thing. I love you. I thank you. I think I'm going to buy you lunch. I know that I'm going to buy you lunch. I'm going to send you a donation so that you can go get whatever you want because that's how we do in the Soul Tribe, y'all. It's a beautiful game of giving and receiving. I'm just here to let you know. Really, I can't let you know nothing. You already know. It's just a confirmation of our beautiful relationship. Listen, I pray that you've sat with your higher self. If nobody else, sit with your higher self. Sit with your spirit team. Get still. Get grounded. Be in the present moment. Right? So that way you can discern what messages are for you and what is not for you. Please leave that for somebody else to take and apply to their own life. Okay? <sighs> I have not been doing the zodiac signs and I'm doing it very impromptu style, very freestyle. This is not a dress rehearsal. I've not had any dress rehearsal <laughs> rehearsals. Why can I not say rehearse? Rehearse, Shusha. I wanted to say Hershey's. Hershey's chocolate? Is somebody eating Hershey's chocolate? I like those little Hershey's kisses with the almonds in the middle. It's like a little surprise in the middle. <laughs> Listen, let's go ahead and get into this reading. <laughs> I call upon the highest white light, only the highest of white lights, anything other than the highest of white lights. Please and thank you. Holy Spirit, please close that door. We ask that the Archangel Metatron come to balance out the energies so that we can handle the truth, apply the truth to our lives as best as we can. Yeah, do the best that you can. I heard that very clearly. Mm, I'm getting Gemini. Hi, Gemini. Hi, my Geminis. You guys are so amazing. You ladies are so amazing. You kings and queens. Gemini, you've been real quiet. You working on something. What you working on, Gemini? Who are you collaborating with? Yeah, you have questions and concerns whether or not this is a good collaboration. You could have a choice between two different paths and or groups of whom you want to work with. You could be seeing synchronicities like one, two, three or two, three, four, or four, five, six, like very much in order. Why is the three of pentacles here, divine ancestors? For Gemini, for Gemini, yeah, this is a new beginning. Listen, whoever you're collaborating with right now, this is a good collaboration. It's a hell to the yes for spirit. The ace of pentacles represents a new beginning. This represents something real good in the making for you, Gemini. Where's my Geminis? Ace of pentacles. You're the highest in the room. This is a desire. Whatever it is, you're passionate about what you're working on. Okay, you could be waking up at 2, 3 in the morning with creative ideas of what you want to do. Yeah. Oh, somebody's way down. Listen, whatever is in your way, you're putting a death to the situation. This death card also represents a transformation for you, Gemini. 
Okay, death transformation and or rebirth scorpionic energy. Put some respect on Scorpio's name because I'm telling you, they need to put some respect on Gemini's name right now. My friend, you have transformed. You are the empress. You're very intuitive. You're very caring. You're very loving. You're very kind. You could be dealing with the Libra. Okay, and or a, um, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Huh? I'm getting a lot of dual energy for you, Gemini, under this Mercury energy. I'm getting you closing out cycles simultaneously, working on something abundant. Whatever this is, this is something good, honey. Okay, Knight of Cups. Let's get into that energy because that Knight of Cups came out with that Scorpionic energy. That could be a younger water sign. Whoever this person is, they could be weighed down by the fact that you have this new beginning. Okay, listen, let me get more into that. Somebody is trying to do something and it's a failed plan. I think with that two of um two of wands at the bottom of the deck, you having a choice. Yeah, you walked away from somebody, honey. And it was very beneficial to your existence, very beneficial to you pursuing whatever great endeavor this is, my beautiful Gemini. Oh, Gemini, what is going on? This was a breakup, Gemini? Somebody you broke up with. Wow. Archangel Michael, help me. Why is the Eight of Cups there? Ten of Wands, Death, and the Knight of Cups. What's going on? What did Gemini do? Gemini, you just need confirmation. This person's under karma. Yeah, I saw the King of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, and or Gemini. Yeah, you got King of Swords on that ass. This person tried to outsmart you, Gemini. Don't they know that you are cerebral? Don't they know that you got a whole bunch of mental gifts? Like your mind is so phenomenal. You can think on like a whole bunch of things simultaneously all at once and keep it all in line, Gemini. Why are they playing with my Geminis? Listen, this person's under karma. Somebody that you walked away from. You put a depth to the situation. This person could have been acting quite immature. Okay. Piscean energy at the bottom of the deck. Could have been a Virgo involved. Whatever it is, yeah, whoever this person was, they're very immature. Very immature. Mm, mm, mm. And now they see you in your winning season with this Wheel of Fortune. You're at the top of this because the Ace of Pentacles is your entire energy. The Three of Pentacles is you working and collaborating with the new people per and by way of your new ideas. The Empress is here. You're caring, you're loving. The King of Swords is you. You're not playing. Gemini is like, what you say? And as soon as that person opens their mouth to tell you a lie, I feel as though the sword is off with their head type of an energy. <laughs> They're like, but all you hear is a slice. They're like, what? I didn't even get to say what I want to say. You're like, I know you're lying. It's about to be a lie. And I'm not entertained anymore. I'm not entertained. Show me what else Gemini needs to see. Holy, <laughs> Holy Spirit. Listen, somebody's a little choked up, you know? Yeah, this is somebody from the past and you've left that ass there. You left this ass there. I'm getting death as a transformation in your rebirth. But I'm also getting water sign energy. I think you were dealing with the Pisces. I'm getting cups, 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 water. Four cups. This person could be drinking. Because they know you're not coming back. Damn. <sighs> Your intuition told you something. I just heard June Gemini. June, June 7th, June 6th, June 3rd. Something was telling you to move forward away from this person. And you did absolutely that. You like, I ain't got time to sit here and play with you. And what the hell you got going on with your immature spiritually self? This person's immature spiritually. Yeah, I'm not getting one king or queen on the board for this person's energy. It's all knights and pages that I saw in the middle of the deck. I saw the page in the middle of the deck. What the hell happened there? Why is the moon there for Gemini? Ooh, because I told you. Didn't I tell you that you followed your intuition? 
You could have moved forward and cut this ass off with no physical proof. You just went based on an intuition and an instinct that somebody wanted you to denounce. And it's a hell to the no for you, Jiminy. Listen, ha <laughs> the hell they thought was going to happen here, my friend. You are moving forward with the victory. You could have had a choice to go back to somebody or move forward. This is moving forward energy. Again, this could be future, past, or present. If this hasn't happened, this is what you're planning. Woo! Hallelujah! Listen, Gemini, I like your energy. I like your energy. Gemini says, I had a conversation with the devil and laughed at his ass. Ah! That was a really specific commercial break spiritual download in real life. Listen. The Knight of Pentacles, somebody's coming in to give you an offer. It could be this person. Needless to say, they're still coming up as a knight. Okay, they're still coming up as a knight. Spirit says, what I'm saying is the truth, Gemini. Listen, I'm getting King of Swords, Ace of Swords. You like, listen, you didn't want to tell the truth. You don't want to walk in truth. I don't believe that you are ever going to change. And I just don't have time for what it is you got going on. Listen. This person cannot get on the bus with you, Gemini, to your victory, to whatever your celebratory energy is about. This person will not be getting on that bus and they're, they're way down. You could have been very patient with this person. Show me more. What the hell is going on? <laughs> whatever the hell is going on. <laughs> whatever the hell is going on, it's a hell to the no for you. Listen, this wanted to come up in reverse. This person wants to come to calmer waters. This is the sicka, sicka, la, la, la. I said sicka, sicka, sicka. Listen, I got to get my words out my flat. Listen, it's the age of communication, the age of Gemini. We're in Gemini season. Put some respect on Gemini's name. Listen, the six of swords is what I was trying to enunciate over here on this end of the planet. This person wants to come to calmer waters. It's in reverse. You're like, uh-uh. This is giving me hell to the no is a complete sentence. And no in itself is a complete finite energy. This was like this because this is what they want. They're like, but you're like, uh-uh. The six of swords is a hell to the no. You're like, no, I'm good. This person is drinking. If I see one more damn cup, they're drinking. Okay, that's a red flag from somebody that will not change. And if they do, it won't be anytime soon. This person feels as though they need you in their life in order to change. It's a very, I'm codependent on your Gemini energy. Okay, you got tired. Yeah, the Hierophant came up in reverse. This person could want to be with you, be married to you, something, or there was a divorce. The Hierophant in reverse is dark energy for me dark magic let me see what the hell just happened here there was a shift in the energy why is the hierophant in reverse spirit taurus energy separation divorce yeah this person wants to be married to you they want to come back and be with you they're in regret maybe that was all you ever wanted from them was to have this abundant happy life and this person um is regretting the fact that they were so immature and now they're drinking themselves to death. This person loves conflict. They like to fight. They like to debate. They like to upset the energy in the room. And you're like, I'm just, I can't no more. Oh, show me this Hierophant in reverse. Is this a divorce? Is this a dark spiritual practitioner? Yeah. This was definitely a lover, somebody that you had a lot of love for. This could have been a relationship, somebody that you were engaged to, Spirit says, that you broke off the engagement and or a marriage. I'm getting a lot of Gemini energy. Please take the parts that resonate with your story and leave the rest. But a lot of you collectively on the high vibration are mirroring other Geminis, okay? Just be mindful of that. The lovers represents, yeah, somebody you left the hell out in the cold. Ooh. Show me Gemini's energy. <laughs> Show me Gemini. Lord, have mercy. If you don't have nothing else, Lord, please have mercy. This person is sick. When I say sick, I mean, they're disgusted with themselves. There's so many cups here. This person is drinking, drinking, and sinking. 
The eight of swords wanted to come up in reverse. So I'm going to let it. I'm, this is what spirit has guided me to do. This is the eight of swords. Is This is a self-imposed imprisonment. You broke free. You freed yourself from some type of a, a mental entrapment. Some type of way of thinking. Some body, place, or thing. You like, I'm good. Spirit sat you down doing some type of retrograde. And now your birthday is coming up too. <laughs> it's a death transformation and a rebirth. You put a death to that. Show me Gemini. Yeah, baby. You leaving shit out in the cold. Five of Pentacles represents you walking away from people, places, and things. You don't give a damn if you got to leave the dog, the cat, the house, the bird. You don't give a damn because that Ace of Pentacles holds some a lot of spiritual weight. That Ace of Pentacles holds some spiritual weight. I'm going to need you to put that on a t-shirt. Okay, Gemini, you're going to appreciate that. That Ace of Pentacles and that King of Swords energy and that Three of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune and the Empress and the High Priestess. Listen, you closed out that cycle. You went through a transformation. You are not the same Gemini that was in this relationship and you are accepting the new. Ain't nobody got time for that type of an energy. Whatever the hell they got going on, boo-boo, honey, my babe, my love, my love, listen. That's your fault. I feel as though you gave this person a lot of time to figure this shit out. Yeah, something just fell. Confirmation. That was my earring. Did you hear the bell? Yeah, listen. The chariot is you moving forward. But the chariot represents victory, courage, willpower. Like, you're like, uh-uh, I'm Gemini. I just gave myself permission to break up with this bullshit. <laughs> this is something from your past. Cups, 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 and more cups. Somebody is drinking their ass into a spiritual oblivion. Let's just thank the most high God that I pray that's not you, Gemini. Spirit says, no. Is it this person's spirit? I get that. Yes, that's the way my gift works. I see. Yes, no, up, down. Yes, no. Okay, that was just a little commercial break. Listen, this whole situation is under judgment. You came out as the Empress, which is strong Mayotte energy backing you strong divine ancestors are walking with you right now and they are not playing about your life whatever this person is going through is sad this eight of swords energy this is how they wanted you trapped in your head um not feeling confident you know doubting your intuition and your power it's like no it's a hell to the no for gemini what are you talking about the high print my nose is itching i know this is the truth the king is um i'm sorry the king of swords is here walking in truth you thought about this. You weighed out the options. You're wise. That's the way that your cerebral vortex works when you're getting to the answer that you need. And you got your answer. And it's finite with the world here. It's finite. So the fact that this person is now going through what they tried to put you in, and this is in reverse, this is like somebody saying, shackles that were on my feet can't keep me from dancing. Whereas before it was shackles on my feet won't let me dance. Yes, the hell they were. You broke free, honey. This is freedom. Freedom. I just heard Beyonce's song, Freedom, Freedom. I can't move. Yeah, this person wanted you trapped. Oh, I'm getting somebody that's real controlling. But in this, ugh, they tried to play this mind game, baby, and outsmarted themselves and ended up in the bullshit that they wanted for you. The four of wands is you being very spiritually protected. Also, a new union coming in, okay? This is a real union. Spirit says, you will love as if you've never been hurt. Ooh, Gemini. Could be, could be a fire sign coming in. Yep. Heavy on the Pisces energy. Heavy on the Pisces energy. This person was real controlling. This person is real, real controlling. They wanted to control you, stop you. They didn't understand your creativity. They wanted to treat you as if you were nothing. You never let that resonate with you. You were always patient. And one day, just when they thought they were going to play that same old game with you, you broke free. Listen, the hangman represents Piscean energy, but it also represents a failed plan. This is an epic fail to hold you back. They're now being whooped in the ass, up the ass, they're up the creek without a paddle. I just heard spirits say the hellhounds are barking. This person's going through hell, literally. The Empress here, Aries energy, okay? This represents fire sign energy. You got somebody else coming through. 
okay? Just remember, for my beautiful masculine Geminis, you can definitely embody a feminine, um, I'm sorry, a feminine energy. You absolutely can if you're balanced. Listen, you can absolutely embody the Empress and the Emperor energy, but this is a divine union. Hence the fact that the Empress came out and the Emperor. Now, the past is over. You broke free. You learned some things about yourself. There are some things about you, Gemini, that you will never, ever, ever in your whole one-legged life, two-legged life ever allow somebody to do like to you again. You said, I will never put myself in that. People are like, never say never. You're like, uh -huh, that person must not have been a Gemini. <laughs> enough, enough, enough of the commercial breaks. Listen, I tried to tell you my friend. Woo, my God. Holy mother freaking Toledo. You're working on something great. Spirit is saying stay focused. You're taking a leap of faith. Whatever new is coming in, it's all good. Do you know why it's all good? Because you are the Ace of Pentacles. You are the King of Swords. You're very sharp. You are the High Priestess. You're intuitive and you're making good decisions about yourself. You're going to know what is for you and what is not for you. Where somebody wanted you bound to being blinded of what was for you and what wasn't for you. Listen, it's just not going to work that way, okay? Yeah, this person's addicted to your energy. Be careful with this person, okay? They're drinking, they're sinking, they're thinking, they're up at night, two, three in the morning, looking at your social media, looking at old pictures and looking at old videos. And they're really coming to this um, realization, coming up out of this illusion, you know, because again, they're so inebriated with whatever they're drinking or doing. They're coming out of this illusion that this is over. And that could be a harsh reality for somebody that thought that you would be together forever. Listen, it's a hell to the no for you. I told you this person took your kindness for weakness. They thought, oh, we'll always come back to one another. You'll never leave me because you were so patient. Okay. That one time, that last time you forgave them, that was your last time. Okay. Yeah, this person is drinking. Somebody is drinking their ass off. Five of Cups. This person's addicted to something. Alcohol, something. Smoking weed, they're addicted to something that they can't stop doing. On top of that, because they're suffering from this breakup, okay, really feeling the burn this time. They're like, oh shit, this really happened. Okay. This is like not good energy. Please be careful with this person. This is the kind of person you can't keep the door slightly open with, okay? You know how people say, oh, I'm still friends with my ex. No, those are healthy relationships that came to the realization that maybe they just needed to be friends and they don't want anything else. But this person, hell to the no. Do not give this person an inch or they will take a mile, okay? Four source is them sitting and thinking about you all day, drinking and thinking, and sinking and possibly stinking. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry. Ah, that's just what I got. My spirit guides are so hilarious. Is this the first day of Gemini? Because I'm feeling it. I like this energy. Oh, my nose is itching. Spirit says, yes, they're stinking. That is the truth. <laughs> I can't make it up of Gemini. Oh my God. I hate to laugh. But I have to because your energy is so good and whatever they're going through, this is something that started long before you got there and it's still going on long after you're gone. I have to laugh to keep from crying because this person is going to have to figure out life, figure themselves out, but they are watching you. They are obsessed. You could need to move away. Okay. I just heard restraining order. Okay. If it gets too crazy, because this person could not see themselves being without you, this person is energetically trying to hold you back. This person is thinking about you all the time, day and night, up and down, in and out, going to the restroom, realizing that they don't have a text message from you. You're being very, very quiet. You're being silent. You're not responding. You could very well have this person on block and they know that you got a new beginning coming in, Gemini. Listen. <sighs> This person is drinking their ass off. You're the star, Aquarius energy. Okay. 
you're the star. You could have choices of love coming in. You could have a fire sign and an Aquarius coming into your life. This person right here, this is giving me celebrity energy though, Gemini. This is giving me star status energy. Are you in the public eye? Spirit says yes. Okay. Who are you? Who am I speaking to? Who am I speaking to? Okay. Because not only are you embodying this energy, somebody else is coming in with this energy as well. You both are mirroring one another. This could be by way of your collaboration. I just heard TV show. Maybe you're wanting to create a TV show. The Hermit card is here. You went with this. You didn't have to go without. You could have possibly um, been, you could, oh, I got a few Gemini. I got a Gemini and a Pisces. I got a Gemini and a Virgo. Okay. Yeah. Why is that star card here? Yeah, you're working on something, baby, that's going to gain you some type of recognition, public recognition, star quality. You are a star, honey. Yeah, I feel as though you're truly believing in yourself more now than ever. And the fact that you have a birthday is really thrusting you into this awakening where you're like, another year, I really got to get this together. Maybe you said that you were going to do something last year and you're really looking over that year only to realize that you allowed this person to take a lot of your time, space, and energy. Yeah, you're very sexy, very vivacious, very apolog unapologetic, and you're vibrant. Temperance is here. You're being very patient with your growth. You're being very patient also with whatever you're working on. Archangel Michael is protecting you and your endeavors because this right here is you working on something. Toil and labor. Also, don't forget that Ace of Pentacles that's on the board. You're working on something really, really good, and it's protected. And you're being patient with it. You're not in a rush. You want to produce good work. This is a, not about hurrying up to get to the finish line. You realize that this is a journey. It's going to be victorious. The Seven of Wands says that you're very spiritually protected. I really feel as though this person's getting their ass whooped by your ancestors. Something could be waking that person up in the night. I think you're sleeping just fine. And if you're not, you will be. Spirit is saying, be strong. And you will continue to be. Ooh, again, this is past, future, or present energy. Page of Swords is somebody. I swear this person is calling everybody they can and gossiping and spying. Spending a lot of their time in the day, a lot of wasted energy, I just heard Spirit say. With the exception of looking at themselves in the mirror, that's the one thing they won't do. This person is sneaky and deceptive. It's a hell to the no for you. I don't believe you're going to give them another chance. I don't feel any malice, uh, you know, a forethought in your heart and your mind. I don't feel as though you're, you're, you know, bitter towards this person. You just really kind of feel as though you don't want to let yourself down again. Like, you know what? I cannot afford to do this no more. And that's real. I cannot afford to do this no more. Yeah, you're keeping it real with yourself. This death card put you into a transformation like never before. Like never before. Yep. You are no longer blinded to the truth. The two of swords represents past energy for you very, very clearly. Maybe you were, you know, telling yourself what you wanted to hear. And then you had a conversation with yourself and you realized that you wanted to tell yourself the truth. You could be saying 444, 222, 888. Definitely 444. That's Ascendant Master Energy. One more card, please, for Gemini, please, and thank you. The only thing that's not here is the magician. Yeah, listen. You are manifesting something really, really good. Whatever it is, you're going to have a victory, okay? Queen of Cups could be significant. Pisces, Cancer, and or Scorpio. This Pisces with this Gemini, that's one specific story. This person is really trying to, um, uh, is really, really in their emotions, like real deep, y'all. It's almost scary, almost like a crybaby, you know, type of an energy. The Scorpio, Cancer, and or Pisces energy, yeah. I'm getting queen because this person's like a drama queen. They're very dramatic in their emotions, okay? Whoever the person is that's with the Virgo, that person is in heavy regret as well. That person could also be taking on this energy as well, okay? Yeah, this person puts you in a third-party situation. It's a hell to the no for you. You're not the type of person that's going to share 
you want stability, you want a family, you want to be happy, you want to be healthy, and you are. You spoke it, you're manifesting that, and so shall it be. Listen, somebody doesn't want me to get this out. I'm getting a little tickle to my throat. Of course, we're going into uh, Gemini energy, which is, uh, what is it? Communication. So you're going to be communicating a lot of truths to a lot of people that might not be able to handle the truth. Hmm. Spirit said, that's not your problem. Speak your peace, speak your truth, speak your truth in peace and be about your path. I said one more, but you know I got to see. There was a card that wanted to come out in there. I don't know which one it was. Yeah. Listen, you're going towards wish fulfillment. You could be seeing a lot of synchronicities. 8, 9, 10, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6. Queen of Pentacles, whatever this is that you're working on, Spirit is saying you need to stay focused. As much as you want to possibly check on this person because you're concerned, because you are coming up as somebody very, very caring and loving, you could have Scorpio highly aspected in your chart. I'm getting cancer if you're June. Yeah, a lot of cancer in your chart. Very intuitive, very psychic. Okay, very caring. But Spirit is saying to stay focused on whatever your new beginning is. Let's get some angel messages, okay? Wow. That was a really intense reading, Gemini. I kind of miss doing the Zodiac readings, you know? It breaks up the monotony. Ooh, happy Gemini season. Happy birthday to whoever's birthday it is today, tomorrow, the next day, and a few other days after that, all the way until June 21st. And then we go into Cancerian season. Oh, Lord. Somebody's not ready for Cancerian season. <laughs> Let's just enjoy Gemini while we have Gemini season, okay? 222. I told you, you've been seeing 222. You've been seeing it too. This is confirmation from your angels that you're going the right way. It says, trust that the seeds of your thoughts are growing as you are nourishing them with words, feelings, and actions. I definitely support this energy. This is what I felt with the Ace of Pentacles, that King of Swords, and the Ace of Swords as the truth. Something that you're working on, you gotta trust that. Also be mindful of your thoughts. What are you thinking? How are you feeling when you're thinking that? How do you feel when you're around certain people? This is going to allow you to stay in that King of Swords energy. The moment you feel a bad vibe, that's it. Don't question it. Call your peace and love back and go about your way and do not look back. Spirit says, this is I am balanced. So you're balancing out your cerebral mental thoughts with your emotions. Thank you, Spirit. Let me get one more for Gemini because that's only fair. Ooh, angels, angels, angels. What do you have to say? Angels, angels, angels. <laughs> little commercial breaks make me happy, y'all. I just like the little commercial breaks. Okay, listen. 99, okay? I am courageous. It is time to get to work. Yeah, I see that. Working on something. Something that you're really good at. Maybe you want to go back to school. Maybe you want to, something that you're working on, okay? Somebody's going to be in the public eye. Don't forget about me. Give me a shout out, okay, on TV or whatever. Just say, hey, hi. I don't even watch TV, but just let me know that you're on TV giving me a shout out. And I will go to the television to see it. <laughs> a lot of tv y'all because some of that stuff uh-uh i gotta protect my eye gates i can't be taking everything into my system into my body mm -mm, and my ear gates okay it's not about me it's all about you gemini listen that was another commercial break 99 it is time to get to work on the realization of your soul's mission in life so whatever you went through here it's going to make sense probably a whole lot later as you go towards whatever you're supposed to be doing. Because you could be questioning, why did I have to go through that? Why did I give this person so much? Why did There's something that you need to look at within yourself. And that's okay. We've all been there. Just be patient with yourself. Encourage yourself and stay on your soul's mission in life. You have a higher purpose in this life, it says. That is yours and only yours to fulfill, unleash your own true power. I am courageous. I'm getting willpower. I'm getting courage. I'm getting, maybe this doesn't make sense right now, but I'm going to have the courage to move forward and I'm going to move forward. This person is pure conflict, okay? If you ever get this little itch to talk to the person or whatever, or just check on, listen, just remember and play in your mind all the times you tried to help them and they turned everything from sugar to shit just because they refused to be positive. 
because they wanted to throw a tantrum, play mind games, mental mind games, you know. You go to try to work on something good and they can't be home by their lonely little selves and they want to call little Mr. Third Party and little Miss Third Party. Listen, that's a codependent energy. That's a parent-child relationship. This person's got a lot of healing to do, but you can't help everybody. That is the message. Needless to say, listen, this is your reading. I love you so much. I promise that I do, my beautiful Gemini. I'm kind of happy that it's Gemini season. I want to see what's going to happen. Taurus season was a little... Mm, ah, uh. <laughs> Taurus season was like, whoa, what the hell? Possessions, wealth, and money? Oh, my God, Taurus. Whoo! But Taurus absolutely did serve for clearing way of some earthly matters that needed to go. I will say that. If I have to leave on a positive note with Taurus, whew, let's just say I'm happy to be in Gemini. 222, two, two. somebody's birthday could be today. Happy birthday, the 22nd, okay? I love you wherever you are. I love you so much, my beautiful Gemini. Until the next video, as always, peace be with you.